going into Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, I didn't really have my expectations set super high. I had a really hard time getting into the first game, but I ended up liking it after the second playthrough. I also didn't watch any of the showcases for the game, so I was going in blind. I expected more or less of the same game with minor improvements, but I couldn't have been proven more wrong. Queen's Blood has got to be the best minigame that's ever existed in any game ever. For the longest time, darts has had my heart when it comes to minigames. It's hard to mess up darts, and it's fun every time. But this one is something different. Queen's Blood is a card game that Square Enix made just for this game. It's a pretty simple two-person card game. The game takes place on a 3x5 board, and each person starts with one of whatever the fuck this is, I'll just call them pawns, on the first three rectangles of their side. Each card has three things on it. In the top left, there's the number of pawns the card is compatible with. If there's only one pawn, you can place the card on any space with one or more pawns. If there are two, you can place them on any space with two or more pawns. And for three pawns, only spaces with three, which is the max number. In the top right, there's the value of the card. And lastly, this little grid right here. The blue dot represents the space that the card is placed in, and the yellow squares show which spaces will have pawns added to it relative to where you place them. If the yellow space affects the space that already has a pawn, the number of pawns in that space increases. If the card has a red square, it usually means you can take away value from another player's card or erase them. Or you can add value to your own. This means that you have to be strategic, not just about which cards you have in your deck, but about how you use them. Because on top of adding pawns and reducing the value of the enemy cards, you can also steal pawns from enemies. You can't just place your cards all willy-nilly or you'll end up getting forward settled. The goal of the game is to get more points than your enemy, obviously. Each lane has its own point counter. If the points you have in the lane is greater than your opponents, then you nullify the points they would have gained, and the points you have are added to your total at the end, which adds another layer of complexity. Because if you feel like you aren't able to win a lane, you can just tie with them to block off the points for both of you, with the hopes that you have control over the other lanes to compensate. Even if you have control of two of three lanes, you can still lose because your opponent had absolute domination over the last lane. This video game is so fucking fire. I go out of my way to play it. Every time I see a Queen's Bud player, I drop whatever I'm doing and fight them immediately. Like I realized I missed some Queen's Bud matches in a previous area, so I trekked all the way back there because the game won't let you fast travel between regions just to play a couple Queen's Blood matches. If they made this a standalone game on the side where you play against people online, I would pick that up in a heartbeat and I'd even pay money for it. Obviously though, this isn't all the game has to offer and it's far from the main focus. We have Rocket League at home. But if that's not your speed, we also have gun ranges. We have Fall Guys. We have Segways. You would absolutely kill a small child if you ran into them with this. Why is the Segway even allowed to go this fast? To top it off though, there's a built-in rhythm game. As of recording, I've only played this one piece and I was determined to get a perfect score on it. Why did my hand twitch, bro? What the fuck is wrong with me? Nigga, what the fuck? I swear to fucking God, these sticks fucking suck ass, nigga. Ain't no fucking way. Oh my fucking god. This game is amazing and I've been having so much fun with it. I think that's it. There's not really much else to say. Let me know what you thought of the video in the comments below. Leave a- Oh! Oh yeah, the gameplay.
I mean, it's all right. 